Now it's time to move on to the brush tool. You should have your gradient done and we'll learn how to blend with the brush tool. This one had a very smooth transition. This time we're going to do kind of in steps. So you have white and then we'll do one here and then one here. This will be your middle gray and then a little bit darker and then to black. So grab your brush tool. You can press B if you want a quick key. And we're going to use the Alt key on your keyboard along with your mouse. So you're going to keep your finger on the Alt key. And when I do that, you see that it turns into this eyedropper. And if you click, then it, you get this circle. And wherever you click, it's going to change the color. So I'm clicking here. The top is where the color is going to change to. And the bottom is what it was before. So starting with black, go ahead and start brushing. And at this point, you may be thinking, hmm, well, that doesn't work. That would be because we already have something selected. Take a look here. This is selected. And so this is not going to allow you to paint on it. So you need to deselect Command D and reselect the area you want. So I'll press W to get my wand and click and hold down Shift and click the other two spots. Now I have the selected area that I want to paint. So press B to get your brush, hold down Alt to find your color. And actually I'm going to start with white, switch to white. And I'm just going to paint all the way across. This should be a very slight change, especially if you are using a Wacom or any other kind of tablet. I have my brush set to 80% up here, and my flow is set to 100%. And the reason why the opacity is really light on it is because I have this selected right here. This is allowing me to use my pen pressure to dictate how dark the color is. So it's pretty light and if I turn that off, I'll go ahead and do that and I press. Notice that it is quite a bit darker just on the first pass. And if I go one or maybe two more times, they'll all be completely white. I like using the pen pressure because it allows me to move a little bit slower. But if you just have a mouse, then it won't work quite the same way. It'll just make it as dark as it was before. So you'll just have to work with what you have. After that first pass, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the opacity down a little bit and go over it with black. Again, Alt and click changes the color. And then you can Go ahead and paint with your black. Again, if you do have a Wacom or any other graphic tablet, you can use that. And it will allow you to move a little bit slower. And if you don't, that's okay. You just might want to turn your opacity down a little bit. Notice that this went really fast right here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to white. And bring some of that light back in. And just keep going until you're happy with the color. And then I'll move on to the next one and make this one a little bit more on the gray side. And here, I feel like this is a pretty good color, but I think I can still see through to the back transparency. The transparency is the checkered look down here. That means that there's nothing on the layer. So let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look. It's a little bit easier to see when you zoom in. See those checkers there? That means that it's still not quite opaque, meaning you can still see the back of the canvas. I don't want to make it too much lighter, so I'm going to Alt and click this gray color, and I'll just add more pigment from this one. Using the paintbrush is kind of something that is intuitive if you are a painter. So when I say I'm using the pigment, it's, it means that there's color that I'm going to change. So this is now loaded with the darker color. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. That was too dark, so I'll Command Z. Try to work one space at a time. And it's helpful to zoom out. 
take a look at the transitions here. I think this one maybe could be a little bit darker. So I will alt and click on the black, but not too much darker. So I'm going to change my opacity down even more and then go over it again. And maybe I will go over this one one more time very lightly. And let's deselect and see what we've got. So white and then the next colors. If you look up here, they are similar, but instead of having direct transitions, this is all very smooth. So just a review here before you move on to the mixer brush tool. Grab your brush tool here and up here are the options for the brush tool. Changing the opacity as you go is helpful, starting with kind of a higher opacity and then moving down as you blend. Make sure that you have a soft brush, which I'm not sure that I mentioned before. Make sure you have a soft brush. And if you have a graphic tablet, then you can use this tool, which is going to allow you to use pressure to make it either more opaque or less opaque. That's helpful when you're trying to make sure that you are blending slowly. Go ahead and finish this up and then you can move on to the mixer brush tool.